Hello everyone, my name is Kayla Pringle. I am a current freshman at Northeastern University up in Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm here to talk looking for more opportunities to volunteer. And so I went on this website, it was volunteering in Bergen, and I saw this opportunity and it had said, uh, comments are closed for a future garage sale and at first I was like, this seems like a little bit of a sketchy request, but I ended up saying, okay, so I applied for it, and that's when Rosemary got back to me. She's like, of course, this would be great, you can come over, help me sort, you can take anything you're interested in, just be for a few hours, and I was like, okay. So I came over, I sorted, and I helped, and it was such a great time, and then that is when towards the end, my mom was late to picking me up, and Rosemary and I just had the chance to sit down and talk to each other. So that was when things started picking up, because Rosemary would ask me about everything, just like about my future, what I would want to do, and just, and then she started introducing me to Joan's Joy. So she shared with me the story, she took me to Joan's old room, and she was just kind of sharing what exactly the organization did in terms of child safety and just all this information I was like oh my goodness I have to be more involved in this so she gave me the stuff and then she took down my email and she's like yeah I'll email you in the future I was like okay and then that was that for a while and then more events started happening like the bowling event I was there she invited me to the Christmas party and it just feels like such a wonderful community of individuals who want to come together to promote child safety in any way possible. And then uh, time passed, time passed, then we get to the summer. So I got an email about a garage sale asking for volunteers and I was like, absolutely. And so I show up, I start volunteering and everything, there's a whole lot of clothes, everything is great. And then um, Rosemary just starts talking to me about this book, A Killer Across the Table. And so and I was like, well, of course I want to support and obviously learn more about Joan's story. So I asked my aunt to buy me the book. And then I read it the following week. Oh, goodness. This was honestly one of the most difficult reads for me because it was brutally honest. There was not, nothing held back. And it just really pained me to see all that such a young person had to go through. Like, there's no, no words that I can truly use to describe, like, the emotions I felt as I read the story about the person who killed Joan. And so, I, it was, it was just so difficult. It really was. Having to sit through and, like, listen to the details about exactly what happened to her, how she was just going around selling her Girl Scout cookies and everything and that she was just so easily taken advantage of. And it really hurt to kind of like have to sit through the analysis as well of the killer and just, it was very difficult, I have to admit. Like, I know that it's very difficult and that it's very, like, there's, it gets to a point where it's difficult to proceed with reading, but I felt that it was essential as part of volunteering in this organization because I wanted the chance to understand Joan because so much has happened because of her and her energy and just the person that she was and I wanted to understand all parts of her story and what made the organization that I volunteer for today what it is. So I read the book and it definitely made me feel like a string was pulling me towards the organization. I felt like there was just no way I couldn't continue to work for child safety after this. And I am just amazed at how much Rosemary was able to achieve after this. Like the fact that she was able to get up and work to get all these, this le the legislation she got passed, passed, and she works to raise funds for all these different events for children, and tries to educate the greater community about child safety and I just think it's so amazing and I 
I have to admit, I think everyone should read this book. It, it was difficult, yes, but we need to understand all parts of Joan's story to be able to continue to work forward for child safety. Because we can't just gloss over it like it doesn't exist. Otherwise, we're not truly understanding our mission. Our mission is to prevent events like that from ever happening again. No child should ever have to go through that. So I would strongly recommend the book. Thank you all so much for your time. Again, it's called The Killer Across the Table. John Douglas and Bob Olshaker. Please, I recommend reading it. Please do. Thank you. Uh, stay safe. Stay well in this time. And have a great rest of your day. Bye.